I'm not ready for a husband. I know that. And God knows that. Wait, do you think me and Andrew... That doesn't strike a chord for on, me. I'm really on. not ready. Hold on. Do you think that uh, me and Andrew are misogynists? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Do you, Andrew's a misogynist? Uh, I think he has an animosity towards women. Yeah, I think so. Do you think I'm a misogynist? A little bit. How do you define misogyny? Just somebody who has like a... A dislike or hatred towards. So I don't know the hatred. exact dictionary. I don't want to say hatred, but it's me definitely so, a dislike. So and the and the like the definition true. of hatred is a great dislike, and it's actually sure. one of the like sins of of living in the flesh. Wait, so, what if what if it's possible that I just I don't dislike women. I just dislike stupid people, and it doesn't matter if they're men or women. And you just happen to be a stupid person, and that's why I dislike you. And also happen to be a woman at the same time. So you happen to be stupid and happen to be a woman, but I don't hate you because you're a woman. I dislike you because you're stupid. Well, could that be possible? Well, why don't you ever talk about men? You always talk about you talk about how much you hate women every day. With men, nonstop. That's all you do every day. When do you when do you debate with anybody ever about to. any worldview? You can't even denounce the LGBTQ in your own faith. How could you ever talk to me about anything? I debate it professionally for a living against men and women. You go on a, a TikTok after you got with a guy who had a million TikTok followers so you could piggyback on that to fame. I would not bullshit me here, sweetheart. It ain't going to work well. Wait, Andrew, check your, check your text. We actually Ch- love Check each your other, text, man. But um, it's okay. I'd be curious to see his I wife you. come on and talk. Yeah, she has. Oh, she has. <laughs> yeah, she has. Would you like to debate with her? I'll bring her down right now. She let's can do take it. the oh, seat. Yes, oh, let's sure. do it. Let's do it. I'd like to challenge her. Let's her. Yeah. 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 I'll just say, I'll go get her real quick. Go I'll get be her. right back. Um, Rachel, great. Oh, my God. Let's, let's get Rachel Wilson. Yeah, okay, because if we're saying that we're getting Wilson. misogynistic vibes, we uh, can see what their wife Framework engineer donated $69. Women answer the bullet question wrong. Women should so take gross. the first it's bullet, so try not to die, to enable the man to fight. Bullet free for the kids. Sorry, these came in the If the man early. gets shot, who fights the shooter? Logic. Logic. Yo, engineer, thank you for the uh, $69 TTS. Hashtag logic. Mucho gusto, senor. Thank you, Giovanni. Giovanni JD donated $69. Thank you, bro. She rocks and burps that Dolbert would just as quickly dismember it. Keep it away from her, Brian. Bro, what? Shame. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, Giovanni, thank you for the uh, TTS, man. I really appreciate it. You can hide here, too, just temporarily. Uh, Yo, Giovanni, appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. I really hope Rachel comes. Has anybody seen Alien Romulus? Wait. Oh, my God. Alien Romulus? <laughs> GMD Jim donated $69. So, the pro-choice Catholic not only wants children gone, she wants the husband to take a bullet also. Wow. Wow. Stop calling yourself a Catholic. Wow. She stopped. <laughs> She's back there. She heard it, uh, she Jim. She already did. She Say, stopped, yeah. She, she stopped. She already denounced her. She unclaimed Catholic. She denounced She said she was raised Catholic. And she was raised this way. <laughs> She was born this way. Hillary Epstein donated $69. Imagine not being able to see the viewpoint that men get the terrible end of the deal in the dating perspective. There is no hate, but modern sex culture isn't fair for men. Gotta see both sides. Mm. Thank you, next. Mm. Thank you, Hillary Epstein. Appreciate it. Damn. Lol Paladins donated $69. You don't look happy, says Uh-oh. the woman who looks happy on the outside but is deeply troubled on the inside. Just keep smiling for the camera, sweetie. Keep hiding who you really are, you sociopath. So I'm actually an path. empath, so. I'm short. A what? Like I'm the opposite of sociopath, I feel. An empath? Is that like when you can read? Is Andrew chorus? back, Nick? <laughs> no, I just feel other people's emotions okay. more. Than or is it Rachel? Rachel, can? guys, Rachel's coming. Rachel's coming. Is she wearing her pink? Uh, her pink sweater. Pink sweater. It's a good. I think it's a good look for Rachel. The pink. It's a good look. So just curious though. Uh, 
Oh, wait, now I can hear them. Rachel! Oh, oh, my, God. oh my goodness. <laughs> there she is. Wait, you're... I can't. I'm not even in frame. What the heck? Can we can we guys, raise her seat up? Can we get her booster seat? Look at that! I have got a marriage. Can we get Rachel a booster seat? Can we? Oh, there's Andrew with the that, cigarette. She needs that. We need. Pillow. We need. We need Andrew. We need a uh, Rachel. Way, this to, way. Oh. Can, can we I get literally Rachel got a dragged out of bed for this. This better be good. <laughs> <laughs> I I hear my husband is a woman hating misogynist, and I'm and I'm here to uh, show proof of life. He unchained me. From the stove, just long enough to to be here. So <laughs> she's out of the dog I, cage. How for can this, I help guys? you, ladies? <laughs> Who? So, have you watched your husband talk to women on the podcast? Yeah, I listen to every single podcast he does. I've also been on the podcast, and I debate women all the time myself. Okay. In fact, I was listening to you earlier describe how you think that men should pay for dates with women who want to be equal, don't want to give them children, and also want to have their own careers, and that absolutely blew my mind. You don't think that men should pay on the first date? Oh, I think they should pay on the first date for women who are going to be wives, not for women like you. I wouldn't be a wife? Not if you're going to refuse to give a man children, have to it's have your own career working outside the home. It's not refusing to give a man chores. children. No, you're a roommate. Why would a man pay for you if you're just a roommate? Do you want to be equal or no? Well, I have a conversation with my partner, and we've discussed having children. I'm not partner. taking away from them having children. We've decided together that having children is probably not the best idea. If you're equal partners, why should he pay for your stuff? Because a man, want, a man at the beginning of the relationship should want to prove that they are <laughs> invested in the relationship. So what are you proving? Like, well, I'm there. If it was a man, You're I'd there. be like, hell to the no, to well, the no, like, no, no. If it's not equal, no. what do you I'd be like, no, there. thank you, ma'am. Uh, you can pay for your own supersized McValue meal, and I will uh, go find a woman who actually wants to be a wife if I'm going to pay for shit. You like, said you're makes e no sense. You said you're equal. Fifty percent is just being there. So what is, does that mean? He's doing seventy percent because he's paying and there too. You're both there. No, but I think so it's how is that showing not? the investment. Women show investment with time because if you do want to have children, there's limited time. But I think that um, women. They value different things. Like, they value when a man provides for them, especially on a first date, a first meeting. And men, men value... So you, you providing your glorious presence is what he's investing in. If he values my presence, yes. I don't really see Well, I mean, simps issue. are going to simp. There's a simp out there, you know, for everyone, so... I don't think I guess that's, if, that's the right way to oh, go about it. Oh, it's simping... That's the worst simping ever. I'm going to let you live at my house for, like, practically free and split the chores and pay for all your shit. That's simping. That's, that's like, the definition of simping. Or just, like, a guy who simping. genuinely likes you. Do you pay any bills with your husband? No, but I'm a stay-at-home mom. I raise the children. I cook all the meals. Andrew has never done a house chore ever in 17 years. I do all of that. I bring him his food. I bring him his drinks. I keep track of his schedule, basically do anything he, he needs me to do to help him because that's my duty in the relationship. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to talk about investment, I'm pretty invested. So he feels like, you know, if I want this traditional wife role and I actually do all those things, then he feels like it's worth it to provide. But if I were to come in here and be like, well, I want my own career, and you have to do your own laundry, and we're going to split the chores 50-50, and I want to be equal, he'd be like, okay, bitch, then you can be equal and pay for all your shit. <laughs> you know, like, why would he pay for my stuff? This makes no sense. You guys have to choose. Do you want to be strong, independent, equal women, or do you want chivalry and protection and provision? You, you want the best of both. You want all of the rights and all of the privileges, and you want none of the duties and none of the responsibilities. And that's bullshit. It's like you didn't have a mom to tell you that this isn't how the world works or something. Like, my, my daughters don't get that nonsense from me. I'm like, uh, no, that's not how that works. So if your why daughters... Are you so, why are you so entitled? That's what I want to know. If your daughters went on a first date, you want them to split the bill. What's that? If your daughters went on a first date, would you want them to split the bill? Only if they're going to be feminists, which 
they're not because I didn't raise them to be that way. Okay. So. That's how my parents' relationship is. It's like my mom does the same stuff that you described, and I think it's perfect. Like, my mom might not be contributing to rent. My dad makes the money, but she's contributing something else. She's doing a job that's just as equal as his job, but she's not getting paid because it's, she's being... She's doing the household duties that returning somebody. The favor. She's doing the same thing, whether or not it's no. being paid. Like my parents are fortunate enough where my my parents are fortunate enough where my dad makes enough money where she doesn't have to work and she's able to provide those things. Therefore, it's the same thing as money, in my opinion. Like spending time and working around the house. Yeah, and I mean, it, it even goes beyond division of labor. It's more than right. about division of labor. Like. I have tremendous amount of respect for Andrew. He is the head of the household. He's the person that has the major burden of most of the responsibility. We've had a home invasion. He was the person who had to go deal with that and risk his life. You know, uh, he's worked 60, 70 hour weeks for years so that I could stay home and our kids didn't have to be raised by strangers in daycare. I mean, there's a massive amount of responsibility on this man and he's extremely competent. He is a really loving, honorable man who has like very firm boundaries and stands by them and takes very good care of his family. So he gets the big piece of chicken. He gets the respect. He gets the love and the admiration. And because I'm loyal and I'm doing all those things, then he, he provides for me and protects me and the kids. And yeah, I mean, this is how it works. Now, if you don't want that and you want this egalitarian stuff where we're, we're equal partners, he's my partner, then you got to pay for your own shit. And you got to do your own work and you better like, you know, take care of all your own stuff and don't expect the man to go answer the bump in the night because you're strong, you're equal, right? If you're equal, you can go take care of that. You can go deal with the man that breaks in in the middle of the night. You can change the tire in the rain. Uh, if the basement floods and there's sewage backing up into it, I guess you can go deal with that, right? So you just have to choose. Don't do this bullshit where you're like, we're equal partners, except for when there's anything dirty, dangerous, difficult. That's all his job. I just sit here and, and grace him with my glorious presence. That's entitlement. That's narcissism. It's terrible behavior. It's ruining society. And then on top of it, you feel no obligation to produce future generations. You want him to just let his lineage die with, you know, die with him. And you feel super entitled to that too. It's like I don't what? understand what? why you what? can't under you can't get the concept that I've talked to my partner. I'm not taking away his ability to have children. We've both agreed we don't want to have children. If he doesn't want to have children, I'm not well, taking did, that away from him. To be fair, I did say he's a pathetic simp. So I mean, that's right in line with being a pathetic simp. You just I think you would just respect kids, just women's choices until I die. It, it, it's just. You guys are selfish materialists is what I'm getting. Life is about me and my comfort and what I want and, and my, you know, uh, just, I live for me every day. I wake up with no thought of the future or any duties or responsibilities I have to anyone other than myself and, and that's great. So it's like, if you want to live that way, I guess, but I just, I'm just looking at you and I'm listening to you and I'm wondering where this entitlement and this sense of, uh, confidence is coming from I'm because entitled I'm entitled like, because I don't want to have children and I like when men pay on first dates. That's entitlement. Well, what are you useful for? Um, I would say that women have intrinsic value. Just no, you. What are you? Specifically well, I'm a like, woman, yeah. so I have intrinsic value. Sad that you from, don't see that. Why? How? Because I'm a person and everyone has, val everyone has value. It depends on who's looking at you. Do men have intrinsic it. value? Yeah, they do. But I said that it's different. It's a different type of value. But feminism is about equality. So if it's different, then how is that equal? No, they can, they can be equal in the sense of they can both work. You can be a stay-at-home mom and not pursue a career. That's fine. But women should have the opportunity and the choice. So do you think women should work too? Women should be allowed to work. No, I mean like in your relationship, if you're not raising kids, should you both in your marriage, let's say you get married, have a job, both of you? Yeah, but I think that a woman's job could be a little less harsh, I guess. Like women don't, shouldn't have to go work some nine to five and, and uh, do this climbing of a corporate ladder. But like for myself, I've found 
a job that allows me to stay home and is not super strenuous. And I think that a lot of women should be able to have the option to either stay at home or work. What would you do? Lol Paladins donated $69. W to Rachel. L to fat frostitute feminists who have no value and TikTok he who oars who hate men and provide no value to society. The problem is they had mothers, but their mothers are bad people. My mother's amazing. And I love her very much. B, I'm um, just... It's wild to me because you asked, do I hear how my husband talks to women? Giovanni I actually think Jade, he's way donated nice. $69. <laughs> Don't forget, There's two first more coming Chair in. did of as well, Thank you, Jim. including BG, and said she couldn't remember if she ever did B slash B slash G. Pretty sure anyone that's got gang banged and posted it would remember. I have not gotten gang banged, and BBG is not the same thing as a gang bang, but Short okay. Threesome. Have you done a threesome? Not two guys. GMD Jim donated $69. You called him your partner. Partners split expenses. Two more. He is not your husband. He could just hire a cleaner and a prostitute with a nice body. You are just too ungrateful, leech. (laughs) I don't think he would agree with that, but okay. There's another one coming in. Random bear. Random underscore bear donated $69. Rachel be like, I got out of bed for this and look this good. I will bring the heat. We must... I look terrible. I look no. terrible, but thank you. It's fine. It's Wait, fine. Wait, you, you're shaking your head. <sighs> da- hey, star, that's not very judgment. 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 Also, Love your Rachel neighbors. looks very dapper. Rachel looks very dapper. Jeff I literally Bader just like put on face cream and was Rachel like tucking myself into two, bed four, and Andrew five. comes upstairs. So. Rachel is Titus 245. What's that? Uh, that's the Titus the Titus II wife. Um, it's like a description of like what an honorable woman is and how she acts and operates in the world. So mm. thank you. That's a lovely compliment. I certainly have my flaws. It's not like I'm over here being a perfect wife or anything, but the, the point is I try and I care about, you know. Ryan's lint do roller useful. donated $69. <laughs> Rachel is out of the kitchen, but she's still fugging, cooking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, now... Since Rachel also came down, she wanted to address, I guess, your criticisms. Uh, you said, Andrew, he has animosity towards women and that he hates women. Yes, and so does she. And Captain oh, donated $69. Oh, Found someone just I definitely take a bullet for the girl in the white crop top. This girl is based and hot. The world needs more of that. She'd be a great woman for any man. Or girl. I want to address the the gal with the I'll pink hair real quick because I did hear her say that. Um, it is not hatred to criticize women. It is in no way hateful to notice when women are acting like entitled narcissists and to call them out on that. Like I said, all the women at this table could tell me all night long about what they think they deserve and what their rights are and what they should have and what they ought be able to do. But none of you can tell me what duties, responsibilities, or obligations you have outside of yourself to society, to the people around you. You would say things like, I'm smart and I'm funny and I'm just a really great person and I'm a good friend and you know all these worthless platitudes. But there's no like sacrifice. You don't ever feel you need to sacrifice anything for anyone outside yourself. You're not willing to have sleepless nights so that you can raise babies and produce human beings that are going to go out into the world and, and have a legacy and have an effect, right? You're not really willing to do much of anything unless it benefits you. And then if someone questions, if Andrew comes on here and says, let me poke around and see why you think these things. Let me see if there's any logic behind your beliefs. Let me see if you even understand why you believe the things you believe. You think that's hateful. You think that's misogynistic. You think he's mean. No, it's just that you're used to be being treated like a child princess and being carried around on a cushy little pillow in life with absolutely no opposition, with nobody ever going, hey, wait, what are you doing? What are, what are you providing in life? What are you doing for anyone else outside yourself? You're, you haven't ever been challenged on anything because you're a pretty girl. 
right? I'm That's young and I'm true. cute. Why you are you questioning me. me? Why are you so hateful? Where's all the trauma? No, I'm just a 44-year-old woman who's actually lived, raised five children, worked really hard in my life for everything I have. I take care of, you know, other family members. I help at my church. I do things that aren't just for me. So when I see girls that behave this way and have this mentality, you're damn right I'm going to come on here and say some shit, especially if I get dragged out of bed to defend, you know, this little girl that's saying my husband must be traumatized and hates women. It's just garbage. You're full of shit. You have no idea what you're talking about. So these are the I hope people that of helps. the Orthodox Church? You guys seem lovely. I would love to go to the Orthodox Church. I think you're yeah, upset so because, because and coming, okay, coming from someone lovely. who I know personally, I'm not a 10. I am very self-aware in that regard. I think that there might be animosity coming from you because you're maybe not as good looking. Oh, I'm definitely not. What? I've been on the show. I've rated myself. But I grew up in an era where we didn't all think we were models. When you were growing up in the 80s and 90s, everyone didn't think they were a 10. Like All of us girls who were not going to have modeling careers or be the hot cheerleader, we all knew that and we were fine with it. And we didn't think we deserved six foot, six pack, six figure man. You know, we were just like happy to meet a nice boy who liked us back. This was before but Instagram you're and all those this boys crazy simps. narcissistic insanity. Huh? You're calling those boys simps. No, no I'm calling your boy a simp. He's a simp. That's simp. <laughs> a nice boy who likes you isn't the same thing as some absolute goober who's going to pay for all your crap. He's not, not paying for everything. Anything. I'm just saying at the beginning of the relationship on the first couple <laughs> dates, a man should take the investment and pay for the first couple dates. She's not paying for everything. She said that his family is paying for some. Yeah. And I think it's only fair that I pay a portion of rent. For a girlfriend? Mortgage. You're not even married. Uh, like, why would his family pay for your stuff? You're not uh, they're married not. to this guy. You said that they're his not. brother or something about they the all, apartment. They all own like a, a home, family. and I help with she pays the water some bill. of the bills. She pays some of the mortgage. <laughs> I pay some but, of the mortgage. She pays the water even, bill. <laughs> my question is, it's not even fitting to the dynamic that you're expressing so much interest in. Like, you're expressing so much interest in not only the first dates, but that you also want to be supported by this person. And I don't dynamic. think that means not paying any bills or doing any sort of housework or like helping in the relationship. Like, I don't think that it's entitled. I just think that it's a better dynamic long term for a man who has the financial stability to be with them rather than a man who doesn't have any sort of future plan to provide for you. Do you so think the woman needs a future or plan, though? I think that women should, and this might be controversial to, is she gone? She's here. She's still here? She's still here. Oh, okay. I think it might be controversial, but I think women, um, even if they're not working a traditional nine to five, should have some sort of money saved up separate from their husbands in case there's domestic violence or there's divorce or things like that. Like, you should have some of your own income. I don't think you need so, a keepsake of, like, if there's domestic violence. I think, like, you need to be contributing. Safe. Yeah, like you should feel safe in your relationship and like pick something. If you want a job, just and that's equal. Or you could do the equal housework or and have kids. Like there's an equality thing that's different. Feminists believe that there's equality, but you're talking about things not being equal. I think it is equal. Like I, I'm. I am going to jump you. off here because Andrew's going to come back, and I do. I am actually going to go to bed. Mm. <laughs> but is anybody? Does anybody have any like final questions or phones to pick I, it I up? I think Star back there had like a thing she wanted to come back and say. I'm just curious if anyone on the. Sorry, what? I really don't have anything to say. Oh. I'm just curious if anyone else on the show has brought up like internalized misogyny to you. Uh, yeah, I get it every day of my life. So you don't oh, know my background, okay. but I'm an, uh, I wrote a book about the history of feminism and how almost everything that the normal person thinks about it is actually wrong. The way that the feminist liberation movements unfolded is garbage that was rewritten history by women's studies departments. Um, and I debate feminists all the time, so this is normal for me. Of course, I've heard absolute garbage bullshit like internalized misogyny. It's not a thing. It doesn't exist. It's pure oh, coke. Okay. Um, I love women, 
But I do think that women have proper roles. And I think that the biggest problem, the problem with you and most of the other girls that have a problem with me, is that you don't understand that this modern world and all this beautiful technology around you that you're sitting in right now, if it weren't for men building that and maintaining that, you would have no illusion of being able to be a strong, independent woman and have all these choices and do but what you want. But why do men do all of that? They do it because they're benevolent and they are good. Isn't that crazy? They're actually really nice and they care about us, even though they don't have but to. But they're getting if something were, out of you. If men were as bad and misogynistic as you think, they would put us in cages and we'd be, you know, baby farms. There would be baby farms. I think you might be a little bit of a baby farm. Because they could. No, they could. You're they a bit of a baby farm. Haven't them. you popped out five children? Yeah. You're I'm a baby a farm. Oh, uh, I think that's the ultimate form of sex work, actually. What's that? I think that I think that you popping out five children is the ultimate form of sex work because without those children, would your husband provide for you? Language. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why are you you using degrading language? Popping out babies. Uh, Popping out babies. Well, if you're against, if you didn't people having babies, if you didn't provide children, would your husband marry you? No. Exactly. Why should he? Exactly. So you're a baby farm to him. A, a marrying no, someone is also about starting children. a family. <laughs> yeah, a family. <laughs> these are my a children too. A baby farm. You, you should so you be think... so lucky because you're going to die alone. Oh, okay. Do you think really? Thank you so early much. On Wait, top of that. So, thank you so much. I mean, if you w- would you like me to go wake up my children and get them down here too so you can tell them that they're like no. gross little I don't think it's appropriate. That I, don't I think it's really appropriate. Them out. That they're the result of baby farm. I mean, take your little snarky little insults and shove them up your ass. Because okay. do you think it's your women parents like me. Did that? It's women like me my who are chil- doing my parents only what had women one are supposed child. to do. My parents you only are had useless. One. You are a useless heifer who has never hey. done anything except You're a, hey. a great desire. woman. Nice. You're a very godly woman, aren't Both you? Both of you be nice. Ah, uh, you started it. Hey, you can dish it out, but you can't I take started it. it. Didn't you, you come on? You're talking about McFlurries or something? Farm. You called me a baby farm, and now you're going to pretend to be offended? Get the fuck I out. I said you're the ultimate sex worker, actually. Ah, uh, okay. Well, she's a mother. Yeah, me being devoted to one man for 17 years and giving him you're children the ultimate. sex work. You're okay. the ultimate so sex worker. So your parents worker. are also part of a baby but, farm because you were born. I, my mom had one child, and she what also worked. What does that have worked. to do? She, so, but I know that my parents would have gotten married without having to have children, if I milk a cow, the cow's still providing milk, though, even if on I only farm. milk him once. So you're calling now look, oh. my, We don't believe that marriage is only for the purpose of children. Had we gotten married and for some reason, biologically, I couldn't. I had a medical issue and could not give Andrew children. He would not have divorced me and he would not have left me. That's not what we believe in. We believe that marriage is also a sacrament of our church. You don't get divorced for a reason like that. However... Why would a man marry a woman who's giving him nothing like you are? You you don't bring See, you anything don't value, to the man except you don't value what? women for just being us. Like you just don't. I see. value people, but that's different than what a man would want to get married for. Why do you not understand these basic distinctions? A man could want Same. to get married without wanting to have children, but that's not what your husband did with you, honey. No man does honey. that except for a simp. <laughs> Or no. some guy who's just men, that some men just don't want to have children. Want a family. Sweetie, Sorry. sweetie, <laughs> honey. Yeah, I love these feminists. Are always sweetie, honey. Mm-hmm. They get so sassy. But this is going to be you're Clips very sassy. Gold. Yeah. Well, listen. I was dragged out of bed because. You're sitting here insulting my husband and saying, uh, oh, your wife must be some victim or there must be trauma. Maybe your wife is bad. To you. You're saying all kinds of personal garbage. And then when I come on here and tell you what's what, you're like, how dare she? She's so mean. She's not a good Christian. It's like, well, then don't say this stupid shit, lady. Don't come on here and talk a bunch of smack. And then when I come down here and set you straight, you're like, oh, I'm shocked and offended. You it's- definitely didn't set anyone straight. Oh, well, the chat disagrees with you. And it's okay. straight, not straight. I don't what know. what do you have? Do this I think weird it, thing where they say you're just pandering. I think it just shows. Pandering. I think it shows the type of woman you are. The fact that you got out of bed and came down here to not only defend your husband, but to defend women at the right instinct that they should be in. So 
I, Hell, the main I reason I do the stuff I do is because I was really shamed for not going down a career path. I had a full college scholarship that I declined because I wanted to be a mom instead, and everyone around me thought it was some massive tragedy that I was going down the wrong path. I was going to regret not being a career babe. Uh, everybody said, oh, it's such a shame you're just a mom. And turns out there's nothing I could have done with my life that's more meaningful than having five children, raising them well, and you know, being a good mom. There's nothing I could do in the career world that's going to last the way that that will have a lasting impact in this world. And I was shamed for it, and I was made to feel like, oh, I was losing somehow in life. So yeah, I don't want other women to feel that way. I want to stick up for women who do want to be good wives, who do want to be good mothers, who think that that's a worthwhile thing to do with their lives and not have them be subject to being called baby factories by disrespectful, chunky heifers with attitude problems who can't even properly articulate a single thought in their head. So with that, I'm going to go to bed, and you guys can talk to the nice Wilson instead. Maybe you'll feel better now when he comes back. Continue up. pandering oh, to men. Rachel? Uh, shoot. Good night, Rachel. I was going to let the... Good night. I'll let the TTSs come through. Uh, I... I had to pause them temporarily just so we could allow Rachel to have the back and forth. So a couple TTSs are going to go through. We're going to try to wrap up the show here pretty soon. Well, uh, practicing gentlemen yeah, donated you, $69. To all the women, how often do you receive an honest opinion about anything from an adult straight male that is neither related to you nor wants any kind of romantic slash carnal relationship with you? How often do you receive an honest opinion from an adult straight male that is neither related to you nor... Mike Davis uh, donated $69. Just tuning in. Wait, this blue whale only dates $1 million plus earners to cover the food bill. When her fatters gets in the car, the tire sensors pop on. Bro. Oh, my God. Warlord69, you woo donated $69. Ew. Baby farm. You are the ultimate farm when you're Come eating on. for more than two PPA. Do better. Bro. You guys only fuel the weight loss. Like, do you not realize I've already lost 70 pounds? Can you guys pounds? start fat shaming me, boys? I need to lose some weight. <laughs> yeah, please I got start, a dad bod. start getting on him. Get on me, guys. Fuck you. Roast me. Giovanni this Jade is the roast session. It's the roast session. Thank you, Giovanni. Growing a family with your loving Thank husband you, is a baby farm. Farming produces commodities. People with children don't see them as commodities. Expose yourself and your view on well. children. I'm just saying. By if the your way, you were totally anti-natalist. I just want to point that out. Totally anti-natalist. Anti-natalist. Anti, like people anti who need help babies. with getting well, pregnant. You called, you called my wife a breeder and said that she was a sex worker because she had my children. I mean, that's kind of what it comes down to, to a certain point. Like, oh, you boy. would not no. marry and provide for her if she I, could not have your children. You should probably yeah, I don't think you understand they, the distinction in faith. They, they talked about that. And that within the, within yeah, the confines she talked of about how faith, he would not still, even permitted. He would not divorce her if she couldn't have children. But the beginning stages of their relationship were that they decided they were going to have children. If she said she didn't want to, he would not have married her and because provided for her. If there was a, how, do you, how do you even know that? You're we just talked to her. Kind of no, we talked broad, to her. You're just kind of making these broad assumptions. But the thing is, is that she, she asked this fantastic question. So what? Why, what would be the problem with a man having a preference of a woman who promises him children so his lineage can live on? How would that make her a prostitute? That's it's insanity. Not, that's not what I'm calling a prostitute. I'm saying that it's the ultimate form of sex work. Then that would be the ultimate form of prostitution. What, what do you They're think not sex the same thing. She had to have it's, sex it's with you in order to make the children. To say there's that like, what? There's four coming in. Unfair to men is too generous. Four coming in. It's anti-life. Men the martial they provide and women are their dignity in exchange. Death for men, humiliation for women. Wait, what? Whatever. It's anti-life. Men the martial they provide are their death for men. Oh. Thank you. GM Digim donated $69. Holy shite. Did the beluga say that Rachel is not attractive? Rachel is the most attractive woman currently on this show. Hey, Crisco. You will never be worth 1% of Rachel Wilson. 
I was saying, I didn't say that she was unattractive. I said there might be animosity towards Star because Star is considered more attractive. Uh. Wolfie Poo donated $69. God, she's awesome, right? What you're, what you're doing is you're making this kind of argument which says the only reason Rachel thinks this is because she's jealous of X. It's a non-argument. Right, I can say the same thing. No, so the I think only it reason you make an anti-natalist argument is because you're jealous you don't have children. I wouldn't make such an argument because it's absurd. It's an absurd argument. It's not absurd to is, think that she has internalized absurd. misogyny because a more attractive woman is trying to say that you are basically well, a misogynist. All you're saying is that all that you're saying here with your argument is it's not absurd if it were true. That's not an argument. That's not demonstrating it's true. It's just asserting that it's true. Demonstrate Rachel Wilson is jealous of fucking any of you. Go ahead. I'll wait. I'm sure deep down she might be. Okay. Are you going to demonstrate it or are you just going to assert it? Excuse me. Sorry. Guys, it might be just an internal thing that uh, happens you, you, when no someone evidence, has internalized No proof, misogyny. no logic, no nothing. You just made it up well, because you have no one, argument. Okay, Andrew, you're the one who said that every woman sitting here is making judgments in their head about who's more attractive. So your yep. wife doesn't do that. No, I didn't say that she wouldn't make a judgment as to who's more attractive or less attractive, but that wouldn't make her jealous or not jealous. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Are you saying that I could claim that another man is better looking than me and that would mean I was jealous of him? Or a woman could claim another woman is better looking than her and you're jealous of them? Does that even make fucking sense it to could, you? Yes, it could cause some animosity. Could, no, no, no. Stop inserting the word could. That's very sneaky with the language. Anything could do anything. Does it entail, if you understand a person next to you is more attractive than you, that that means you're jealous of them? Does it actually mean that or not? I think your wife might be jealous of the fact that... my question. That Answer the question. Don't divert again. I Answer think, the question. I think your wife could potentially be jealous. Could. could, potentially, I think. No demonstration, no evidence, just wild assertions that you well, came you up with that on the cuff because you had no argument. Hold on really quick. Um, we'll get right back to it. Uh, Nick, you got to leave soon, right? So why don't we, before you leave, let's pull up Twitch, Discord, and Debate University. So guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever, twitch.tv slash whatever, <laughs> drop us a follow and a prime sub if you've been enjoying the stream. If you're watching on YouTube, open up another tab, twitch.tv slash whatever, drop us a follow. If you're watching, uh, if you have a prime sub available, maybe you guys can check. Uh, it would mean the world to me if you guys do have a prime sub available. It's been one hour since our last prime. You know what that means? It could be bugged. Drop those prime subs on Twitch drop. or whatever. I mean, we have to. Yeah. Those are the rules. Are you guys watching on the Crucible? Those of you who are watching on the Crucible, twi just drop us a follow. If you guys liked seeing Rachel just come in there all randomly, we need to see you spamming the follow button. Just the follow. Don't worry. If you want to, if you got a prime, if you got a prime, you can drop one. Uh, virtual self, thank for the prime. Scatterman, thank for the prime. Shobs, thank for the tier one. Uh, Tube 1980, thank for the prime. Guys, drop us a follow over there on Twitch. You can probably move us over. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's uh, debateuniversity.com. Oh, uh, I'll do Discord after, I guess. Uh, yeah, debateuniversity.com. If you want to learn how to become a master debater like Andrew Wilson, you want to learn how to debate like Andrew Wilson, you got to go to debateuniversity.com, get his course, Verbal Combat, over 80 plus hours, or sorry, sorry, not 80 plus hours, excuse me, 80 plus videos. There's about six hours of uh, content. Guys, listen, it's that time of year. Uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas is around the corner, so if you want to dominate your liberal family members at dinner, <laughs> uh, go to debateuniversity.com. you got to get the course, debateuniversity.com. It really is a fantastic course. But as you can see in the difference in erratic thinking versus logical thinking, in reasonable thinking versus just random assertions, in people who actually know how to structure thoughts in a correct way without making completely fallacious and erratic and stupid arguments, that would be the place to go. Yes, Debate University, hold on. Wait, wait.